D Lo 404 Boxing. Shout out to Marlowe's Corner Treads, the whole block fam. So, um, just making my rounds, you know what I'm saying, this morning on the boxing channels, checking out the buzz for the fight coming up this weekend between Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz. And what do I see? Once again, on the eve of Deontay Wilder's pay per view fight, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is announcing that. He, had, he makes some big announcement. Now he's saying he's coming out of retirement in 2020, um, taking the sport of boxing over again because he's still the biggest name in the sport of boxing, yada, 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 so forth and so on. This is the second year in a row that Floyd Mayweather has done this. He When uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury were getting ready to fight, when that fight was announced, Floyd announced, Floyd announced that he was going to have a rematch with Manny Pacquiao. But then that fight ended up following, you know, ended up not being made, not coming to fruition. But all the same, there was the buzz. You know, the buzz went to, oh, everybody want to talk about what Floyd's going to do. All the a whole direction of all the boxing conversations went to what's Floyd going to do. What's Floyd? Okay, right now, I'm I'm making a YouTube video right now talking about Floyd Mayweather. When, if anything, I should be talking about more so than anything, it should be Deontay Wilder. Versus Luis Ortiz, the build up of the fight, the expectation of the way in, so forth and so on. But this is the news in boxing. This is the buzz because Floyd Mayweather Jr. made an announcement saying he's coming out of retirement. I think this is uh, tacky. This is petty, childish. Um, it just, just so many things that you shouldn't see um, out of a, an accomplished fighter on the level of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Even if Floyd was coming out, even if Floyd is coming out of retirement in 2020, Floyd could have made that announcement after the Deontay Wilder fight was over with. Let, let Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz have their buzz. Let them um, have the stage. Let them have the limelight. Let's see what they can do. Um, and if Floyd is supposed to be buddy-buddy with Anthony Joshua, even... Even waiting until after that fight would be cool. I mean, you got a whole nother month left in uh in 2019. I mean, I think um Joshua fights in uh I think Joshua and Ruiz fight on December 7th. Floyd could have made that announcement even after that fight. I mean, but I especially have an issue or take exception with him announcing it on the eve of a fight, a PBC fight on pay per view. That you know, and I see some people saying, well, maybe he's doing this to you know, generate buzz for Wilder fight. Is the other no Floyd doing this generate buzz for Floyd? Floyd, in my opinion, cannot stand seeing somebody else getting all the attention and line and being in the limelight, especially when he's around. And see, Floyd, his company is involved in this fight. If y'all notice, Leonard Ellaby's doing a lot of big up and talking and promoting. You know, what I'm saying basically speaking up on Deontay Wilder. You know, um, more so than he ever has, and um. You know, and I think with LB is a lot of respect, genuine respect and uh, love, admiration, whatever you want to have it. But with Floyd, it seems that he wants to take the play away, you know, because uh, regardless of what he said, Floyd very well may not even fight in 2020. But at the same time, he's already accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. And that was getting his name buzzing again taking the play away from the event that's a less a little over a day away. Um I I don't I don't like it and I know a lot of people around the boxing community don't like it. But it is what it is. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is gonna be Floyd Mayweather Jr. and this is how he moves. And that's all I gotta say on it. It's D Lo 404 Boxing. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.